outstanding organization is with us right now, former teammates of uh, J.K.'s Darnell Valentine, who might be, uh, I would say, 1-1A one and one a in, in my time knowing people on this earth. Jerome Kersey and Darnell Valentine are the two people that always have a smile on their face and yes. are always in a good mood. Happiest, smiling guy you'll ever meet. I tell you. Well, I'm second. You're right. I'm second to Jerome. <laughs> I don't Jerome know. It's close. Special. It's really close. <laughs> <laughs> but this was a day that I was saying – Laughs, tears, great memories, um, and uh, ultimately, um, you know, I think Sean said it best at the end of the service uh, that um, we were all blessed to have him a part of our life uh, to whatever extent he was. You know, we never are truly aware of the paths that our lives take. And uh, when I was called, Jason Quick called me the, 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 e the morning after Jerome passed, and he, he asked me, uh, you know, darn it, what, what you think? I said, well, you know, it was just a great pleasure. I didn't know God had this plan for me that I would cross paths, not only with, you know, the organization, the people that's involved, but, you know, having an opportunity to, to, to share some moments with Jerome. You know, it's it's funny. We were talking before the show started, and, you know, to echo that, that sentiment, man, we were, we were just saying how, you know, Jerome was here every day, and I knew he was a good dude. You know, I enjoyed being around Jerome, but it wasn't until he wasn't here that you start to realize, wow, it's a good dude, a really good dude. You know, I, I only hope that <laughs> that people can 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 appreciate and say some of the things about me, right? That they've said about they Jerome. They I will. mean, he's he was just spectacular, and uh, and you know, I still haven't fully processed it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like it's still unbelievable. I mean, here you got this big guy that was country strong. Right. I mean, he's one of the top two or three athletes in Trailblazers history. And uh, for him to have passed like he like he passed, I mean, it's just, you know, it was time for him to move on. Full of life. I mean, oh, you, yeah. you envision that at 85 he would have the same, you know, vibrancy for life that he had at, at 52. And, uh, and, and you guys are right. I mean, I, very often when I would pull in for a home game to the parking lot, he was sometimes coming back from lunch. And, and the first game that uh, wait, wait, they you, pulled you, in. You pull in at like 4 o'clock. No, was 3, three o'clock. He was just coming back from lunch. He would take a late lunch, yes, <laughs> he would. And very often I'd see him in the parking lot. And, and, and I, was, I was looking for him. And, and, and it was just strange not to see him parking right about the same time. So you, you see the little things, the little little times that you didn't even really, you know, you took for granted that uh, this was a, a situation where you, you, you encountered, you know, Jerome or he was with you or whatever. And, and you, you know, just... It just felt weird not not to see him there, you know, at that at that point. And you you knew him when he was when he was when he was a rookie. Now that had to be some fun because I'm guessing a wide-eyed rookie out of Longwood College, <laughs> who's who's told the Blazers, "You're not sending me to Europe. I'm coming and I'm making the team." Yeah, yeah. I I tell you, his confident level was only second to Clyde's. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying they, something. They knew that. They, but you know, there was times, and I you know I was here, and and uh, I think we had two or three years where we played together, and there was a couple times where I was coming off an injury, and uh, and Jerome would 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 stay after practices and play one on one full court with me. We would go up and down, and I mean and. He was just such an athlete. Man, I was doing all I, c I could, <laughs> not only to keep up with him, but to get out of his way so I wouldn't get hurt. Right. Because <laughs> he, was, he, was he was full throttle. I mean, when he play, it was time to play, he played regardless of what. <laughs> but, you know, I didn't really appreciate how great he was and that team was to after I was traded. And then to go out there as a competitor against them. Right. And see, I thought, you know, Scottie Pippen and, and Michael Jordan, you didn't have nowhere to go. You truly lights were out when those, when Jerome and Clyde was on that court. Man, they covered everything, every nook and cranny, and I couldn't see, couldn't pass, <laughs> nothing. But uh, but yeah, uh, Jerome was he was spectacular. He was just he was really, really, truly a sweet soul, just sweet. I mean, just genuinely sweet. No act, don't have to please anybody. He's already arrived. It was just his nature. You know, and it's funny too, Wills, and, and when you bring up and you talk about things like that, um, sometimes you meet a person and they almost seem too nice. And you start to look at them like, okay, what's the angle? Mm. And you start to spend more time around them and it's like, you know, okay, what's the angle? And then finally you get to a point where you've been around this person and you're like, wait, there is no angle. This is just who he is. This is what he believes in. This is how he lives his life every single day. And and you mentioned a minute ago you hope that one day people can say those things about about, about you, the, the types of things they said about Jerome. And uh, that's been my, my awakening the last week is, you know, what am I doing? Am I doing this the right way? Am I living 
the Jerome Kersey life. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and, I, and you start to reevaluate. Very well said. I, I I think you know when we when we re, 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 we reflect, and you know our reflection has to be more than just uh, how much did I get paid? Right. What did I What did I accomplish uh, that day? No, it's a legacy that he's created. And uh, his daughter, the way that she composed herself and the way she oh, she right. spoke of him and, and Terry, it, it was just it's mind boggling to me that uh, with all those emotions, you know, the, the depth of the emotions has to be like unreal. Right. And for them to compose and to speak that he would be so proud of them. And each with the absence of bitterness. I, I think I think there's a lot of people that would have said they said they're people of faith, but but. Wouldn't it be natural to look up at the sky and say, "Why? I mean, wh- wh- why? Why? Why did this happen? Why? Why did it have to happen?" And for them to say that, you know, Terry's saying, "All I'm, all I'm praying for is peace." You know, and I think that's that's a fair thing to pray for. And uh, and for her not to question something that she's never going to understand, we're never going to understand. Um, that's the ultimate courage, right there. It really is beyond comprehension. We just, you know, there's a plan for us all. And uh, and once we we've done what we're we're called to do, it's time for us to go to a greater calling. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And but I think Tone said it best. Uh, if we all carry on a life and lead it the way that Jerome Kersey did, I think we're gonna all be that's happy right. people. That's for sure. That's right. DV, thank you very much. I know it's been a been an emotional day for you, emotional time for you, and uh, we appreciate you sharing some some memories of Jerome. I appreciate you having me. It's always an honor to be in you guys' presence. Thank you, sir. Man, you need to get some more honors then, <laughs> for some more people in his presence. I gotta I gotta raise my standards. <laughs> get out more. I think that's, that's what he said. It's Darnell Valentine, great Trailblazer alumni ambassador. <laughs>